uh, hey guys, so, I haven't used Blender in a while, but, uh, I just decided to mess around and I created a little, uh, cube character rig, and, uh, first let me just make a little thing right here, alright, uh, G Alright, so basically, I was just messing around in Blender, and I haven't actually animated in a while. I pretty much quit animating, but, um, just have fun. I created this little character rig, you know, because I was messing around. And I actually think it's pretty, it's actually, well, not pretty cool, but it's actually not that bad. Text, oh, jeez. Yeah, it's not allowed. Just... So, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm not really that good at rigging, but uh, I think this character actually looks pretty nice. So, might as well just show it to you guys, because I have nothing else to do. <sighs> okay, so, uh, let's bring it up. post-processing because that's how I like using it actually it's post me it's meant to be using post-processing but uh, basically render image and well why do I keep saying that stuff out loud but yeah so this is what the character looks like uh, I think it actually like I said before I think it actually looks pretty cool you know pretty nice I might actually do a couple of small animations with it you know like animated shorts because I actually really like how it turned out you know I spent just like maybe two to three hours on it. Well, I did have to restart, so I spent more like maybe six hours, but, uh, yeah, so basically, um, I'll show you how the joints work. Basically, this right here is the IK for the arm, but, you know, there wasn't really a point adding a bend since it's just this, and yeah, and then this bone controls the wrist, so if it's holding an item or, you know, you just want, like, more dynamic hand poses, you can just rotate it. This controls, you know, movement of the body. This is the leg IK. I actually did add bending to this one because, you know, uh, it's a lot, you know, it looks, it'll look a lot better in animation with the uh, feet all, like, flopping around instead of just, like, going straight like this, you know. And then, you know, here's the knee pivot. I don't, I never use that, but, yeah. Uh, and here's the waist, and then here's just the head. And the neck. Now I got really lazy for the face, mainly because I don't actually know how to do face rigging. When I, even when I used to actually, um, you know, use Blender a lot. But yeah, basically the face you just size it up. You know, do whatever you want. Um, you know, it may not be the most efficient way, but it does actually work. And you know, I think it works pretty well for um this simple rig. Like, um, you know, you're not gonna be doing some crazy facial animations. You know, let's say he turns around and he sees something. You know. And you like get scared. All you need to do is just mess around with the sizing. You know, you don't have to have all the shape keys and stuff, and all the stuff that changes it. You know, see something like that. But yeah, um, if you guys uh, want a download for this rig, okay, I'm not. I'm basically not putting up a download right now since you know I'm too lazy to. But if you guys want a download for the rig, you know, I might as well do it since why not? I'm, you know, I like being nice. And then, it's not that good of a rig, you know, so, it's not like it's worth anything, so I can just put it up for download for free if I want to. But yeah, if you guys want this rig, uh, let me know, and yep. Yeah.